prophet Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 16. Send lambs for the ruler of the land from the crags toward the desert to the mountain of the daughter of Zion. The daughters of Moab at the fords of the Arnon are like fluttering birds pushed from the nest. Give us counsel, decide to help. Make your shadow over us like night in the middle of noonday. Hide our outcasts. Don't betray our fugitives. Let our outcasts live with you. Protect Moab from the attacks of robbers. For when the extorting ends, the spoiling ceases, and those trampling on the land are destroyed. A throne will be set up by grace, and on it, in the tent of David, will sit an honest judge, seeking justice and pursuing righteousness. We have heard about Moab's pride and how very proud they are, about their haughty arrogance, their insolence and bravado. Therefore Moab will wail for Moab, they will all wail. You will sigh, stricken by grief, for the raisin cakes of Kir Haraset, for the grain fields of Heshbon are withering, all the vineyards of Sibma, whose red grapes overpowered rulers of nations. Once they reached as far as Yazur and trailed out into the desert. Their spreading branches even crossed the sea. Therefore I will weep for Sibma's vine as I weep for Yazer. I will water you with my tears, Heshbon and Ilale, because the shouts of battle are falling on your summer fruits and harvest. Gladness and joy are removed from the fruitful fields. No revelry in the vineyards, no happy shouting, no one treading grapes in the wine presses. I have silenced the vintage cheers. This is why my heart throbs like a lyre for Moab, and everything in me for Kir Haris. For when Moab is seen growing weary of worshipping on the high places and entering their sanctuaries to pray, they will have accomplished nothing. This is the word Adonai spoke against Moab in the past. But now Adonai has said, Within three years and not a day more, as if a hired worker were keeping track of the time, the glory of Moab will be brought into contempt, despite its large population and the surviving remnant will be few and feeble. End of Isaiah chapter 16.